Hey folks, Corey here. Today uh, I'll do a short video to show you what's been going on. It's been pretty crazy. Uh, had a shipment of all my frames and stuff come in. Started to put all of them together. I've uh, been putting boxes and and stands, and that's what we're going to show you today. I'm going to show you a quick little thing to build one of these. A uh, real cheap method if you need to put something on the stand. This is a little bit taller than the one I'm showing here, and all the parts you need to build one. Uh, it's just basically uh, one by ones or two by twos, whatever you want to call these square pieces. Uh, they're inch and a half by inch and a half. Uh, this is going to be your four legs that are 16 inches long, and these are your supports down here. And then you have you have your uh, you have your uh, 11 and a half, and you have your 17 inch long ones, and then you have your uh, 17 and it's a 17 and a half of these, 17 and a half of this one, 20 with this one, 20 with this one, and 14 and a half for the middle frame, which is these up here, the base. Uh, these legs are a little bit longer on this one. Uh, these legs are only 16 inches. Um, yes, 11 and a half. I got it all wrote down as a piece of wood because I was trying to make sure I had it all memorized. <laughs> but your base up here is, uh, yeah. Bases you're going to be 17 and a half by 20 long. So you know you're 17 and then you're 20, and then this is 14 and a half for your support. And then your bases down here uh, are 11 and a half for the small ones in between, and then you have your 16s. If I'm not too direct, 17, <laughs> 17s for these. Okay, and these are screwed in. You could screw them in here and here and just kind of uh, move your screws on uh, one end higher than on this end, you know, kind of stagger them so your screws don't hit each other when you go into the legs. You could even screw them from the other side here. Uh, I recommend buying, don't buy the real cheap, cheap stuff. Uh, I buy the eight foot, uh, this stuff right here. And uh, it's not bad. It will sometimes split. Uh, you could also use, for other stands, you can build stands kind of just like this with the one by twos which are these guys okay eight foot um, you can build them also with that uh, I use those for my top bars I also wanted to show something today too that came in which I was really excited to get because I got classes coming up and I got to show that today and also uh, which is my observation hive I got one of my observation hives today which is cool to show today exciting exciting mm -hmm. So this is something from uh, order from Kelly Beekeeping uh, Company, uh, Walter Key Kelly Company. This is something they advertised. Uh, I've always wanted it. They have another section you can get for your super to put up top, up here. Okay. Um, but let's see here. I'll show you what's going on. You have your two feeders for your two jars at the top if you want to put food on them while you're showing them. Uh, you, I would staple this down, and then the kids, you know, can hold this. I'll have this tube out um, when I show it, and this hole will be clogged here, okay, maybe with a screen on it so they get ventilation, and then that way when kids go to look at it, you know, they can pick it up, look at it, move it around, so long as they don't drop it or shake it, they can't really hurt these things, and that way these, you know, the young kids can come in here and, and uh, hold them and if they're, you know, scared to go out to the yard. So this is going to be fun. Like I said, it's real simple. The lid comes off. If you don't got it stapled down, frame slides out. Um, real simple box. I got this foundation here for now. I got to put a frame of bees in there for when I do show. Uh, but yeah, I think it's freaking cool. I might end up getting the other piece. But now that I know how they put it together and how, you know, I, I built it, you know, they give you all the parts and you assemble it. You know, it comes, up, comes unassembled. And you put it all together. It gives you the frame. Everything you see here comes with what you get, you know, what you order. Uh, I don't even remember how much I paid for this. Anyway. <laughs> um, but it's cool. Like I said, you can get another attachment to it. You can even get the bottom box, like a little nuke or whatever that this sits on. And then you have another frame up here of a super frame, you know, a shallow frame. The same concept, but just a shallower one. And uh, so, yeah, it's a lot of options to do with this. It's pretty cool, like I said. Pretty excited to get this. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, that's just been going on. I've been building boxes, um, getting top bars built, putting frames together, 
because I'm trying to get caught up putting screen bottom boards together, fixing the screen bottom boards that I had, making new screen bottom boards, fixing the lids that I had that went through winter, and replacing everything, and uh, all that fun stuff. Uh, I guess we can walk out to the bee yard real quick and uh, show you what's going on out there real fast. Since this one's close here to the building, All right, folks, so here we are at the bee yard. We've got a lot more bees out here now because we've done splits. Uh, I need to make a video, which I might today, uh, going in my hives that I had made queens that I know they're in there, like this one, and check this for eggs because it should be laying by now. Uh, I've basically swarm prevented almost everything over here except for a few hives in my top bars. i got to check yet. Uh, but everything else looks to be good. Hopefully I don't get tagged in the head while I'm coming out here to check everything out. Um, I don't got my suit right now or my hat with me. Let's see, all these hives have bees in them. The one down at the very end down there, I got to check for a queen. That one's a new one we're raising. All these have queen. They're all queen right. This one's raising a new queen. This one's queen right. That one's queen right. That one's queen right. All those down there except for one is is queen right. Or not queen right, I mean. They're all queen right except for one. Those over there are all queen right except for the far one doesn't have anything in it. I'm going to do a split in. Probably the one next to it depending on how big they get. Or moving one of these over over there. And we got bees in this one. Bees in that one. That, are, that one's queen right. That one's raising a new queen. That one's queen right. Those two over there. Are ready to put something in and then my buckfast bee yard i think it's got 10 10 hives that have are all queen right and i think i've got another 10 i'm being raised so yeah a lot of bees going a lot of stuff going on this one's got queen right too so yeah it's been pretty crazy busy um just keeping up with the bees haven't had any swarms yet been keeping up on it uh i'm surprised as soon as i do i'll videotape me catching it if i can uh but i haven't found one yet i might have one Oh, my honor ones behind the house here uh, swarm on me. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to let them swarm out because they're hard to mess with. So, uh, other than that, I'll probably put another video out today if I get in the hive to check the queen. Um, and I'll post it today, the same one I post this video. And other than that, I think that's it. If there's any questions you guys want to know about maybe building, like I said, stands, I build everything that I can. I build my boxes, I build my frame, I build my, uh, well, Every top bar frame I build, I don't build bees. I, 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 that would take forever, as many bees I have to rip 100, 100, like 50 of these frames out every time I need them. Because every time I do an order, I do at least 50 to 100 frames. So, uh, and that's just the deets <laughs> that I order. I still order, you know, 50 shallows and mediums as well. But, uh, all right, well, like I said, if there's anything, any questions or anything, how to even build my top bars, maybe I'll do a video on how to build my... Uh, uh, planted side top bars here. Um, this one's a straight sided top bar. It's it's not got the gate or like the you know the uh, angle on the sides here. It's just straight. This one's got the angle. But uh, mind the clutter in here folks. It's this freaking garage is so cluttered. There's so much of everybody else's stuff in here as well. I got my extractor I got to clean out this year too because we are going to have bucket loads of honey. Bucket loads of honey to spin through this thing. We have so much as it is already, and they're still bringing it in. But all right, folks, we're gonna leave this one here. And uh, like I said, any questions, comments, or anything, leave them below. I'll try to keep another video up as, as soon as I can. It's just been busy, you know. Try to keep up with everything around the house, beekeeping, all that stuff. You know, it's just a busy year. So uh, yeah, have beekeeping and have a good one, folks.